ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sayushi and today we're going to be reviewing a product. First of all, excuse the green screen background, I needed to have this as something a little bit placeholder so that I could put a background that was easier for you guys to see the product, but it does mean that my hat's going to be invisible. Which you can see, I have no brain. Anyways, this is the QRD Spark N5 wireless controller. It is a third party controller and let me tell you, I am in love with third party controllers. To hit you guys with a very brief story that I'll go into more detail in another controller review that I have planned. Uh, I have been addicted to first party controllers for years because back in my day, third party controllers used to suck. But now, in my opinion, they are far better than first party controllers because of a lot of the different features they have, namely the Hall Effect joysticks. And they're also significantly cheaper because controllers have gotten way, way more expensive. So to name a couple of the features on the box before we end up opening this bad boy, it does have Hall Effect joysticks, which for those of you that don't know, basically means no stick drift. Like, yeah, that's why I'm buying third party controllers from now on. Uh, this controller does have the six axis gyroscope, so you do have the motion controlled aiming and so on and so forth. It does have nine color LED light. I don't care about LEDs. Uh, and then it also has programmable turbo and macro. So that's pretty fancy. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, it does work on PS4, PS3, PC, iOS, and Android. It doesn't work on the Nintendo Switch. And in order for it to work on the PS5, you do have to get an additional little item. So here's the controller itself. And let me tell you, this thing is very comfortable. I I'm pretty sure I read in the description, it's like ergonomic and everything. And yeah, it sits in your hand very, very nicely. I will say my only complaint is I have never been a big fan of the PS4 controller. That's just a personal preference. So if you like PlayStation's controllers, you're going to love this. It's got the uh, kind of the texture on the back side of it. If I can ASMR you guys for a little bit here just to hear the scratch. Uh, and that feels really, really good in the hands. And just in general, it relaxes in the hands very, very much. Uh, I don't think it has adaptive triggers, but I don't like the adaptive triggers of the PS5 controller anyway, because technically this is a PS4 controller. All the buttons feel really good to press. You know, they're very responsive and I haven't had any issues. I've got maybe 20 hours of solid playtime out of this thing and I had no problems. Uh, the other thing too that I love about third party controllers is these back triggers right here. Hopefully the camera picks it up because these give you a tactical edge in competitive games. Now, I don't play many competitive games and embarrassingly enough, even though I'm a grown man, the most competitive game I play is Fortnite. But let me tell you, when you're playing against other console players on Fortnite, those back triggers make a huge difference because normally you gotta use the D-pad to swap your items and equipment, right? But you can just change these keys to left and right on the D-pad because they're programmable. That's great because it means I don't have to take my hand off of the joystick, right? Now, another thing too to mention is because it has Hall Effect, I really put this thing through some rigorous training with like pushing the joysticks in all the time just for sprinting and scoping and whatever else in various games. And let me tell you, it held up and is still doing fantastic. I normally would have to play games on Steam with a dead zone adjusted for each of the different games. I don't have to do that anymore. Hall Effect is the way to go and I love it. I will mention that the controller also comes with this little thing, which uh, basically it attaches to the controller so that you can, uh, like it would place the controller flat like this rather than it being flat on the ground and potentially disrupting the triggers or something. I don't know. I personally don't care about this just because it's extra plastic that I don't want to manage, but that's because I'm a stickler for that type of thing. Now, uh, I do want to mention that they did in fact send me the additional PS5 wireless adapter. The controller itself, I'm Canadian and it runs me about $60, which again, for all of the features that it has, mostly the gyroscope and the fact that it has a touch screen, that's awesome. That's really, really a, a solid price for a third party controller just because of the Hall effect alone. That's the big thing for me because I'm so sick of buying these first party controllers for a hundred Canadian dollars and then having them have stick drift within a month. I don't know, maybe I'm really unlucky. Uh, but this thing right here, I do gotta mention that there is some assembly required because essentially this is going to end up being uh, a, a wireless USB 
uh, and you can plug this into your PS5, but it's not going to work right away because the PS5 had a firmware update. And so in order to get this to work on your PS5, you're gonna have to go to the official website of the Spark N5. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you need. Uh, and you gotta download the firmware. Basically, you just plug this into your computer, connect the controller to the USB while it's in your computer. And then the software that they have is going to detect that, say yes, install it. And then there you go. Now suddenly this will end up working on the PS5. Now, I will say that my experience with the controller on the PS5 was a little bit underwhelming. Granted, it is a PS4 controller, so it obviously doesn't have any of the fancy features of the PS5. And my judgments towards this controller on the PS5 are no limitation of this product itself. It's the PS5 having its own limitations because it considers this a PS4 controller that is essentially emulating a PS5 controller, which means you aren't getting adaptive triggers and you aren't getting vibration of any kind, as far as I can tell, because the PS5 thinks this is a PS5 controller and thus vibration isn't going to work because the PS5 controllers have that fancy vibration that, you know, I, the haptic feedback or whatever. Oh, and I should mention that while you can use this controller wired on PS4, PS3, PC and whatever, so you can charge it at the same time instead of having to play it wirelessly, uh, you won't be able to play it wired on the PS5. So just make sure that you keep it charged up because again, you have to have that little USB dongle adapter and there's not a wire that can plug into that and charge it at the same time. I mean, granted, you could probably just plug it into a wall outlet at the same time that you're using it, but yeah. Again, there will be links in the description for pretty much everything that you could want about this bad boy. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and stuff. I don't do these product reviews very often, but I do have a couple more that are planned soon.